Welcome to the Talkishy Podcast. Welcome to the Talkishy Podcast, episode 70. I had 71. Iba a decir que, Dios mío, hasta se me olvidó que episodio era. Este, because it's been that long. But hi. Yeah, este, I'm hoping que hay... I'm hoping que this audience right now sean gente de coming for the issues stuff. Eh, so pr- probably a lot of new people, but oh hi. Um, this is going to be an issues Q&A. Que yo, ¿verdad? Puse que me hicieran algunas preguntas and stuff sobre el evento. If you don't know what the issues is, God, I have so many questions or como que thoughts in my mind right now. El calor está... Demasiado, and I decided to wear a blazer, but no pants. Anyway, este, nada, so the ashes, if you don't know, or like you would like me to describe it, eh, son unas premiaciones para creadores de redes sociales. Uh, there are artists también involved, you know, artistas visuales, musicales, drag performers, but there are categories that are based on social media, like eh, podcasting, eh, influencers, Infographic, etc. Sorry for the outside noise, but oh yeah. Um, and I put a Q&A para que me hagan preguntas sobre el evento and stuff, just in case people were curious about certain things, and we're going to get to that today. But before, uh, I guess we should do some housekeeping. Dios mío. I'm not lying. I love heat. I'm a Targaryen at heart. Pero the heat is actually kind of killing me. Nada. Before that, uh, I just want to say... I haven't done an episode in a bit because I was depressed and I was busy. Como que literally both things, you know. Um, I'm feeling way better now, thank God. Eh, not only that, but I have been really busy with the Ashy stuff. And yeah, I always say this is the penultimate episode del season. Uh, and that the season finale siempre como que the Ashy's and stuff, but we'll see. We'll see how I organize these episodes. Now, this this summer, I do want to just be kind of chill. E work at what I work and not do content. Or como que no for assignment. If I want to make content, I will. Uh, I don't really want to give any more like housekeeping updates. Ni nada, so. so let's get right into the Q&A. <laughs> it's been... O sea, let me just talk about the issues a bit. So I've been trying to elevate la edición de este año, right? And uh, it hasn't been easy. Uh, I've invested a lot of my own money into this. So si van uh, this Saturday, que Dios mío, si lo están viendo hoy domingo, o sea, lo estoy grabando jueves, pero va a salir domingo. Pero va a ser este sábado. Oh my God, el 3 de junio. That's crazy. Este, en pública, Santurce. Let me just put that out there. No sé si pongo el poster aquí, pero ya. Yeah. Um... And if not, you can catch it here on YouTube via the stream. Va a haber un stream de nuevo. But I've invested a lot of money into this year's edition. It's been very stressful. And I'm going to answer some questions while I scratch myself because everything is so hot. But yeah, let's get right into the Q&A. Porque me hicieron muchas preguntas super cool. Um, how has the Eshis helped you network with other artists y talento? Um, I would say substantially, como que yo hago estas premiaciones porque I think there's a lot of exclusivity en el ámbito de las redes sociales o de creadores, right? I feel like sometimes, no, no es tirando hate a eh, creadores de contenido that just do like lifestyle and beauty and stuff like that. That's great. And there is a beauty and influencer eh, category. But sometimes I learn so much from following Twitter and from following a lot of people from different, you know, uh, ¿cómo se dice? different, not forms of life. What the fuck? Aliens? It, uh, no, but a lot of different people that come from different ways of life or whatever. And I feel like those people should be celebrated as well because they have mucha influencia and they have a positive uh, effect on my feed y para mí eso es importante and I, I want those people to be celebrated as well, tanto como la creadora de contenido que, ten, que tiene como 100 mil followers y lo que postea son su outfits o cosas así, which is great, that I would love to do that también, you know but um, I think that other kinds of creators should find un espacio donde 
That's what I love about going to influencer events and stuff. I do find people que tienen mi mismo pensamiento and, and, and same mindset and same like job and same. It's like the same universe, you know? So para mí, the ashi is eso. It's a space to be in the same universe as other creators and other people que are like-minded, you know? So how does it help me? Eh, literalmente todos los años, every time people add more... um names to the list the possible nominees um yo descubro más gente which is just incredible a mí me encanta como que decir like okay eh, qué podcast ustedes creen que debe ganar el mejor podcast este año que sé yo and people will put new podcasts people will put new eh, artista para mí eso es sumamente importante you know so yeah to me it has helped substantially y quiero quiero eso quiero que crezca Quiero que todo el mundo crezca y quiero que el evento como tal um, ayude a crecer y, y, like, I hope a lot of people can say como que, ah, sí, yo conocí a esa persona en The Ashes. como que The Ashes fue un evento, o es un evento, because I want to keep doing it every year, eh, donde yo conozco a mucha gente nueva y mucha gente que have, you know, that we have so much in common and we can grow together by collabing or by learning from each other. And no, that to me is very important. Para mí, community is very important, uh, a concept, en cuestión de the Eshies. What was the moment you came up with the Eshies? Yo he contado esto par de veces, but to me it was, uh, para resumirlo, fue H3, no sé si mucha gente ve H3, I, I, I've, I watch H3 sometimes, y qué sé yo. Este, and ellos hicieron como una imitación de los Steamies, que son las premiaciones de YouTube de allá afuera, which is, Why I do the Eshies, como que yo siento que aquí, yo creo que hay premiaciones, but I think the Eshies is a little more on the fun side, a little more like on the, it's so funny because I think it teeters on the serious, but also on the fun side, no sé. Para, o sea, cuando yo vi que ellos imitaron a the, the streamies, haciendo the streamies, que era como que, ah, worst, eh, who's the most misogynistic creator y como que ganó Andrew, Andrew T por ejemplo, eso, eso fue este año ellos hicieron eso and I wanted to do the same as just like a thing for my podcast but now it became something bigger eh, it was in April 2021 que I actually got to eh, like make it come to life por lo menos en la primera versión que fue virtual que ha sido lo más challenging en el proceso de organizar los eshies Depending on other people, honestamente, um, I think the first Eshies fue mucho trabajo, pero yo, like I said, I started in April to make it, ¿verdad? Let me just take a quick break aquí, va. I know y'all can, probably can't see the sweat beads, but I can feel them. So... El primer Eshies, even though it was a lot of work, uh, I could just do it y ya. I could just record it and upload it, and it was great, y ya. But in the Eshies, I've had to depend on, o sea, en los presenciales, I've had to depend on otra gente que me contesten, que tengan los recursos que necesito, que no estén booked para ese día, cosas así. Um, and especially por... Mi depresión, I kind of started a little later este año, which really sucked. Um, I'm consider like I'm considering so many things for next year, ¿verdad? Pero, eh, so I started looking for a venue, not that much later, pero se tardaron. Como que mucha gente, it was a long process. Y depender de otra persona en ese aspecto ha sido lo más difícil. Como que depender de su tiempo, depender de su horario, depender de que si tienen lo que necesito o no. And a lot of people have been so incredibly, como que a uh, mi, mi disposición y bien caring. Para mí, la persona que ha hecho, me, like, la llevo de verdad, Nicole, uh, Nicole Enz, who is, um, who helps to stream. Eh, para mí eso es como que probably the most important thing other than the venue. So de verdad, Nicole, yo te llevo and I love you so much. And también, no es solamente que Nicole esté dispuesta a ayudar con el stream, es que también... Is a, she's a great support for me as a creator y como persona que también estudió comunicación, you know, she's like my best college buddy, en verdad, and I love you so much. Y, um, yeah, eso ha sido lo más difícil, como que depender de otra gente, because I'm also, I think I'm a pretty independent person. 
O me gusta, like, that's what I like about content creating, que yo como que I can just wake up and do it all by myself. Y es como dicen, you know, it's kind of like the Thanos being like, I'll do it myself. Like, I, yeah, like, I like doing things by myself, pero depender de otra gente, de que si pueden llegarle, que si pueden presentar, all that stuff, ha sido definitely lo más challenging. I hate depending on other people. Eh, but I've had to, and I've, it's been like a process where I'm being, I develop patience. Si soy bien honesta con ustedes. Sneak peek de tu outfit. So, uh, I want to say que there's there's a dress code, and it's just fun. Like, you don't really have to follow the dress code. Eh, but the theme is Isla Meme, which is, like, based on, like, Meme de Puerto Rico. Like, yo he puesto en el... Por ejemplo, you can go in white, in, like, a really nice white outfit que te dé la gana. And you can just say, like, oh, soy el diente de Sonia. Remember cuando se le cayó el diente? But, like, you know, you can justify it in that way. Este... If you want to go straight up as a meme and, like, do some DIY, like, that's great. I want to see that. Este, but, yeah, that's the theme for this year. Y también el color es orange. If you're like, oh, I don't know what meme to go as. But el color is orange. You can go in, like, a regular orange t-shirt and go all out in, like, yellow and orange and red and tangerine. Como que that's the color this year. <sighs> Speaking of my outfit, honestamente, I thought about this question and I wore this. This little necklace here, I'm not going to zoom in. I don't think you, you guys can see it well. I'll probably post some stuff with it, but this is kind of a good sneak peek into just a little detail of my outfit. Pero yo puse que se van a reír cuando vean mi outfit because I've made un show de todos los colores and eh, the meme theme. <laughs> eh, so yeah, wow, I am not even laughing at my jokes. This heat is heating. ¿Cuál es tu categoría favorita? I don't think I have one. Yo no tengo una personalmente para mí. Como que todas son importantes. Todas son, todas son cosas diferentes. I've, I'm thinking of changing some categories a little bit. Y también um, adding subcategories. Pero en verdad yo no la tengo ahora mismo para estar haciendo como mil premios. O para estar como dos horas, tres horas. Like, this isn't the Oscars. This is just the Ashes. For now. For now. For now. Because I want it to grow. Sin embargo, um, yeah, you know, yo creo que yo no tengo ninguna favorita. I think que la más codiciada o la más pristine sería Influencer of the Year because Influencer can mean anything. Influencer is something so big. Like, it's a big title that, like, people follow you for you as opposed to como por tu música, como artista, ¿verdad? O por tu podcast o qué sé yo, como que you are the brand. So yo no diría que... Es mi favorita, pero sí diría que es como que la más grande. O la más como que... Es un título súper codiciado. Y ha sido, en estos últimos años, ha sido Filomeno, Adriana Filomeno. And Bodylicious. And I think that says a lot. Um, ¿Qué te motiva a continuar realizando The Ashes? And that's like the last question. I think. Eh, God, I hope so. <laughs> Eh, ¿qué, me hace, ¿Qué hace que yo siga haciéndolo? Pues honestamente es lo que estaba diciendo al principio De que I I fully Believe en como que las redes sociales As like this really big thing That connects us all Y I know that sounds cheesy, right? Pero at the same time I do believe en que No sé, like God, this is horrible How do I have a communications degree and a podcast And I don't know how to speak Este... Okay, what makes me keep doing them? And but like, I just see social media as this like really important thing. Y se divide en muchas cosas, right? Like there are so many purposes that social media can serve. Como que nos puede educar y también nos puede entretener. Uh, which is why yo siento que hay tanto desbalance. No sé si se dice así, pero... Um, en cuestión de... Como que la razón por la cual la gente sigue a otros creadores como, like, Twitter. Tú sigues a mucha gente where probably they talk about, like, social issues y qué sé yo. Yo sigo mucha gente en Twitter por social issues. Me salí de Twitter, by the way. Unrelated. <laughs> Pero I just wanna, I just wanna, esta semana por lo menos I wanna rest. And I'll just be posting ashy stuff. Eh... I feel like those people deserve a mismo hype 
de gente que va a brand eh, events y cosas así. Because I think it's important. Yo he aprendido tanto de social issues y de cosas así de gente de Twitter, like I was saying. And also, está like the other side, que I do also think it's important como que darle valor a esa gente que no, que no entretiene. You know, I think it's okay to just like like someone just because they post their get ready with me y que sé yo. Que me, like, what makes me want to keep doing this? Pues I just... Mira, yo me quejo de todo el trabajo. El, el año pasado yo me estuve quejando de todo el trabajo que, que me hizo pasar The Ashes. And it's valid que yo me sienta así because, like, it's, it's all resting on my shoulders. It's a lot of work, ¿verdad? Pero... I was so happy that day. Like, you have no idea. I saw so many Twitter mutuals. Fue un evento where we celebrated so many people. Que eso otra cosa. Yo quiero decir que even if you're just like nominated para mí, eso algo grande que mucha gente te haya escogido a ti como un creador o alguien a seguir. I, I think that's a great honor. Just in general. Nada que me quejo, ¿verdad? <laughs> este... Mira, I just think it, it was a great day to see all those Twitter mutuals, ¿verdad? Y pues... It was a great day, right? El, el segundo de Ashes del año pasado was a great time. Simplemente, I don't know what makes me keep going. Eh? Eso es como que ver a todos mis mutuals, ver a gente meet up y tirarse fotos. And feel special. Feels to me like que ellos se sientan... God, I hope this, this aligns with what I was saying. I, I just can't watch it. Eh, I want people to feel special. Yo quiero que los creadores que yo conozco... Feel special. Y no only que yo conozca, porque literalmente yo creo que como mitad o más de los nominados de este año, I, don't, I didn't know before the issues. Eh, so that's another claim, ¿verdad? That's a criticism que ha recibido the issues, que es como, ah, esos son más que gente en tu círculo. And not only can I not control that, but I do want the issues to grow al punto de que sigo conociendo más personas every single year, a más creadores, a más, you know, I know that we laugh that social media is like a cancer <laughs> or like it's horrible, but para mí no. To me, the issues kind of resalta lo, lo bueno de social media y de ser Twitter y de ser podcaster y de todas esta, to estas cosas, you know. So, para mí lo que me sigue motivando es eso. Es como que I want this space to have fun and to feel good about being a social media creator, no importa el size. So, yeah, este, I guess I answered all the questions, lo que queda es como que yo flexing this kind of fun outfit, like I said, I have no pants on, pero that's kind of, you know, it's kind of like, you know, the Dua Lipa Mugler kind of like look where she, oh, well, no, that's like a jumpsuit, but it's, it's somewhere there. Anyway, nada, I just want to say I'm really excited for this year. It's been a lot of work way more work than last year, pero I'm in a really good headspace para hacerlo. I'm really excited. I hope that you guys enjoy it. Um, Para mí, importante... Oh, this is another preview. Me, me nails that you might see on my accounts this upcoming week. Este, pero para mí, importante, just like... I lost my train of thought again. This heat is insane. <laughs> This heat is insane. Los ruidos are insane. I'm recording an episode on a whim because I have so much to do and so much to get to. Pero, yeah, I'm staring at the pile of stuff that I need to do for the issues right now. And now that I'm, I am really excited. And I hope que, para mí lo más importante es que vean el stream. Sorry, para mí es importante que vayan. <laughs> But también el stream es importante, you know, uh, for people to go see it and... Just have fun. And like I said, have that community of people que le apoyan. Um, there's no space for negativity here. Y lo que yo creo que estaba diciendo que una crítica que recibió The Ashes once fue eso como que, que it's just... It's closed off to just people that you don't know. Like, I'm... El propósito de The Ashes is to keep growing as an artist y as a creator para ver más personas que merecen... Uh, you know, a follow and a subscription and support as creators because I think it's amazing. So, yeah, uh, muchas gracias for watching this episode, which is just driven by heat so badly. 
it is so hot this targaryen is burning does that mean i'm not a targaryen no that's not true let's not even question that uh, but yeah i will if there better do more episode of the other season maybe i don't know i'll see how that works and i'll see y'all at the edge cheese i'm so excited si tienen otra pregunta about like las categorías el año pasado yo hice como que el penultimate episode fue sobre the edges is just like me explaining yo creo que las categorías and stuff so you can watch that go follow me da, 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 support me la, 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 y'all know what this is uh, and yeah i'll see y'all at the edges 2023 bye guys <laughs>